Ducky of Awesome. Hey, everybody. I am in L.A. right now because I'm kind of a big deal. I'm at my Airbnb that has a air big old V and ceramic deer head for some reason. Ow, stop, stop. We are here to respond to your comments for the Adele. Send your love to my new lover, whatever the hell. Send my love to your her love to we're our love or whatever the hell it is. That's the actual title of the song. Mike Craig, please do JT's Can't Stop the Feeling next. I think we might be doing that one. I got some ideas for that one. I think you're gonna hate it or like it. Or love it. There'll probably be all kinds of reactions. Do you think after we up. shoot it, we could respond to some of those comments? I think we should. I mean, we might as well. What happened to my body? I'm looking pretty good, guys. You're in outstanding shape. I need a tan. Yeah, uh, that's why you're in LA. Ariel Harmony says, I'm in so much pain today. This made me laugh so hard, I forgot I was in pain. We were gonna put this out on Saturday and then all the awfulness that could possibly happen, happened. So we put it off till Tuesday and I was still worried, but hopefully it made people laugh. And it's cartoon violence, you know? So hopefully we keep it cartoony enough that it doesn't have anything to do with reality, right? You know? Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Well, thank you. Thank you. No, I was just saying thank you, but oh. it sounds like a question. Everything sounds like Can a question. Can I get an amen? Can Doesn't I get he? a thank you? You're welcome. Ah, they have two heads. Aww. I'm the growth Freak. that's coming out of your neck. Ah. Derek D says, Ha ha, good job, guys. The GoPro toes, clever styles. I have a theory about styles. Derek used to be a professional rollerblader, for real. Like, he went to the X Games. I think that was something he might have come up with when he was rollerblading. <laughs> like, watch me cop these styles. I think what shouldn't be overlooked here is that Derek D was a professional rollerblader in the X Games. I'm not overlooking that at all. I, I bring it up every time I see him. It's like a renaissance man. I gotta get back to work. I'll right. see you. Bye, Bye growth on Mark's neck. Night King 317 says, should have used Ramsey Bolton if they talking about cutting parts off. Spoiler alert. You'd have to be so far behind Game of Thrones to not know he's cutting shit off. It's, oh, sorry, I can't swear cutting things oh, off. You can swear. So did he send the wiener to somebody? He sent oh. the wiener to Theon's like family, sister. sister. Send your dick to your old sister. <laughs> you once kissed her cause you thought she was a random girl. You hadn't seen her in since you were 10 years old. <laughs> There it is. Exactly. <laughs> GG Lame. I love the Key of Awesome, and the singer is amazing like Adele. Kara Samantha. She's great. She's awesome. Always killing it, never spilling it. Always nailing it, never failing it. Always crushing it, never rushing it. All right. This is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Julia Doe, what did you guys use to make the fingers and toes? I bought some $2 plastic feet and I cut the big toe off. I had to take part of the foot and glue it to the side of the toe so that it wasn't hollow. And the thumbs, we just bought them. Where do you buy thumbs? Come on down to Thumb Emporium. All thumbs are half off. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> Doug, what are you doing with that ax? Don't try to chop my head off. Oh, I would never think of. <laughs> <laughs> I grew back. Wow. You're an actual X7. Uh, guys, it's he is of awesome. You're pluralizing the adjective. She's correcting me when I say you can watch all the key of awesome. Oh. Other, other key of awesome. Key of awesome is a phrase. It's a trademark phrase not to be used outside of Mark Douglas. And that has an S on the end. I'm gonna go watch the Games of Thrones later. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch some Game, Game of, of Throneses. Thrones. Throneses. Tara Lee says, hey, my B-Day is on the 19th. I'm going to be 15, and I was wondering if you can sing me Happy B-Day in the comments. Let's take it at a up-tempo jazz pace. One, two, one, two, one, two. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tara Lee. Happy birthday to you and many more. That went pretty that flawlessly. That was really bad. <laughs> Denaro Robinson says, I don't think I haven't ever heard so many pop culture references in my life. Great job, guys. Always love when the Saw doll shows up. I was thinking that Jigsaw would be a good vlogger. Check out my second channel, my third. And all his channels are just 
the rooms where people are getting tortured. How many videos is Jigsaw in? Sometimes he's got a, a big role. Sometimes he's like a little Easter egg. Remember in All About That Bass, he just kind of like yep. rode through. I love that puppet so much. That was a Tom Small creation. I think that was one of the last videos that he worked on with us. We still have it today. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Sarah Herbert Watson says, give us more Jigsaw Dell. Or just more Jigsaw. Either way is my favorite part of the parody. Jigsaw actually had sung lines, so actually sung notes. And that was like a difficult thing to figure out. Somebody compared it to Tim Gunn. It actually is kind of like Tim Gunn. I, I just sort of talk and, and the, it's a little whispery and I make sure that I enunciate as well as possible so that when you lower it, the diction doesn't get garbled. So we had to retune the whole track just so that Mark could sing it higher and then bring the whole track back down and then tune Mark down so that his voice would go like that. Tricky stuff. Me, 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 You're me, uh, me. You, know, you know who figured it out. This guy. That guy right there. Turtle Squirrel says, yay, Jigsaw is back. And Matt, you're super hot. <gasps> hey, hey. She didn't write that. I just, I was just telling you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, I just think about it. And I'm like, what's for lunch? And Matt, you're super hot. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie Christensen said, hey, so what happened to Adele's boyfriend foot? Besides his toes being cut off, there was like a scab thing. Oh, whale. What does oh, whale mean? It's a way of oh, saying oh, well. Oh. But with a whale. So I have this scab on the bottom, of the main part of my toe, on my foot. And it's actually a great story. So this one time, I rubbed it on a chair accidentally. And that's it. Oh, whale. You can see there's nothing here anymore. Poor little yeah, You can bruise. still see it. Well, I can get this really high up, can't I? Yeah, yeah I can smell it from here. You guys never let anything slide. Also, you're wearing that hat. <laughs> also, <laughs> well, the whole internet also knows how obsessed I am with my hair, and it looks atrocious today, so I wasn't gonna go on camera with it looking like how it is. So I went with a pink trucker at. Oh, whale. Oh, oh whale. whale. I won Curlis. I'm a daydreamer, Adele fan, but I love this parody. Wait, Adele fans are called daydreamers? Yeah, I didn't know that. Is that, is that a thing? <laughs> if they merged with Justin Bieber fans, they could be daydream believers. Daydream believers. I think we should come up with a better name for Adele fans. Mm -hmm. Adele's. The Dell Razors. The Deltoids. Adele. I like the Deltoids. <laughs> yeah, that's good. A R O K H 72. K O A just keeps getting better and better. Another great parody. Now get your asses to Australia so I can lock you up in my basement. Got Australia. Lock you up in my basement. That's a terrible Australian accent, isn't it? It was, it was, I thought it was pretty good. Basically, all I do when I'm trying to do an Australian accent is I pretend I'm eating my ear. Hi, guys. What's going on over there? Australia. It is Australia. Can I lock you up in my basement? <laughs> How do you do that? Can I lock you up in my basement? <laughs> Delivery Man says, was Rachel McPhee in an episode of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? Yes, I was. I'm in episode nine of season one. I have two short scenes and I play a dirty, dirty whore. Yusef Suri, why isn't she blonde like in the original video? The blonde wig wouldn't hold the updo as well as my real hair would. We could have dyed your hair. Would you have done that if we paid for it? If I could have gone back to being red afterwards. This is like my trademark, yo. My receding hairline, that's my trademark. Comedy is your trade, Mark. Ah, nice one, Doug. Oh! Just a nail. Pretty dress, pretty Rachel. Thank you. Isn't that sweet? Bless your little heart. Not like, that was pretty dress and pretty Rachel. Definitely could have been more Rachel, but it was pretty Rachel. That was pretty Rachel. Little Rachel. more Rachel, little less dress, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the nerdy approach said, okay, I'm kind of addicted to your stuff. Any antidote?" More videos. Just be like, hey man, I, I'm addicted and that's what I do. There's gotta be some 12 step. KOA programs out there. K-O-A-A. -A. Yes, yes. <laughs> and Tuanella Gamara says, make more cat hospital. I do really want to want to make more of those, but they're they're like expensive. So I'm gonna need some sort of sponsorship. So if anybody knows anybody who works for like Friskies or Petco or Cat Fancy, maybe the Cat Skills Tourism Board, Cat Scan Machines, Catamarans, which are boats, you know, I could sponsor those. Kit Kat, Kit Kat, it could Ooh, be sponsored Kit by Kit Kat. Box. Kit Kat Hospital. We might start a cat starter. Cat or Patreon. Patreon, like it. I would love to be in a cat hospital if it ever gets made again. What would my character be? Oh, you could be a crazy cat lady. Yes, perfect. And you, you just bring in like 12 cats. <laughs> 
You're like, I don't know what's wrong with all 12 of them. I'm in. We're writing a new episode right now. Boom. Montana Von Musser says, loved the Zoolander reference with the dog. Obey yeah. my dog. Doug is literally the biggest Will Ferrell fan you will ever find. Really? He's absolutely right. Have you gone to that new Will Ferrell bar that they have somewhere downtown? Well, downtown You've where? In in Manhattan. These... You haven't heard about that? Mike! Think that from... Mark, you're, you're cutting out? Is there that? And that's where all the money's hidden. Where is it? Just go into the... It's... And all that money is literally yours. You can just have it because I don't need money. Ah! Hey everybody, thanks for watching those comments and thanks for leaving those comments. Couple of updates. We're here at VidCon. I already have a sunburn. Uh, I'm dressed like a fool. I got a lot of facial hair, which might have something to do with the next parody video that we're making. You guys figure it out. But what I really want to tell you is about an awesome collab that we did with MTV's Decoded, uh, which is hosted by our good friend Francesca Ramsey. You've seen it in a bunch of our videos. And it's a social justice rap battle. We wrote the lyrics and produced the track for them. And it was an awesome collab. So check it out. Leave a nice comment if you like it. If you don't like it, then just shut up. See you at VidCon if you're out here. Bring me some sunscreen and a razor. Talking of awesome.